Have you ever been scrolling online, maybe looking for that hot new game or, you know, some software you need? Yeah, happens all the time. And you see a deal, like an incredible deal, maybe for a game key or some in-game cash. Mm -hmm. And that little voice pops up, uh, hang on, is this too good to be true? Absolutely. That skepticism kicks in fast online. Mm -hmm. It's healthy, really. It really is. So today we're diving deep into one specific platform that offers those kinds of deals, diffmark.com. Right. We've got a bunch of sources, reviews, forums, platform docs, basically asking us to unpack it. Is it legit? Does it work? And it's a big one to unpack. Our sources quickly show Diffmark isn't some tiny site. We're talking over uh, 8,100 reviews on Trustpilot. Wow. Okay. That's significant. It is. And the average score is 3.9 out of 5. Now, that 3.9 is interesting. It's not perfect, obviously. Right. Not five stars. Exactly. Yeah. But when you dig into why it's not perfect, the sources suggest it's mostly things like, you know, communication hiccups or maybe verification taking a bit longer sometimes. Okay, so maybe operational friction rather than outright scams? Precisely. It seems more like the growing pains of a busy marketplace, not widespread issues with getting what you paid for. That distinction is really key here. It points towards legitimacy. Okay, let's unpack this a bit more then. For anyone listening who hasn't heard of it, yeah. what exactly is Diffmark? What are we actually talking about? Well, at its heart, Diffmark is an online platform. It's built for people to buy and sell digital goods. Digital goods like? Uh, things like game keys oh, yeah. you know, for PC, consoles, yeah. top-up cards for services, software licenses, definitely. And even in-game currency, like for Fortnite or Wild W. So quite a range. A really broad range, yeah. It's positioned as this kind of central hub for all sorts of virtual items. And it seems like it's trying to appeal to everyone, not just like pro sellers. That's what the sources indicate. It's set up for casual gamers just wanting one game cheap, but also for folks who sell keys professionally. Which implies a pretty solid back end, I guess, mm. especially with promises of competitive prices and instant delivery. Mm -hmm. That instant delivery is a huge selling point for many digital products. Definitely. No waiting for a box. And the scale backs this up. It's not small time. We found figures like uh, over 1.5 million successful transactions. One and a half million. Okay. Yeah. And more than 3 million registered users. So it's definitely a well-known name in the um, digital gaming space. And across different platforms too, right? Not just PC. Correct. PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Yeah. Other major ones too. So they have a wide reach. Okay. So this brings us right back to the core question for you, the listener. You see the site, you see the deals. Is diffmark.com actually a legitimate place to spend your money or should you be wary? Right. That's the crucial point. And based on, you know, look at all the evidence, the reviews, the site's transparency, how it operates, the consensus from our sources is that Diffmark does appear to be a legitimate platform. It appears legitimate. But what makes the sources confident in that? Especially with digital goods, there's always a risk. True. But it's not just operating blindly. It's an active system millions are using. Yeah. The legitimacy comes from how it operates, the details. OK, like security. That's always my first thought with online payments. What did the sources say about how they protect transactions? Security seems to be a big focus, actually. They use what sources describe as a multi-layered system. Meaning? Well, it's more than just basic encryption. Think um, advanced fraud detection running behind the scenes, secure payment gateways, uh, the usual stuff, but done well. And sometimes manual checks for bigger or maybe slightly unusual purchases. Okay. And importantly, they partner with trusted third-party services, specifically for fraud prevention. That adds another layer of defense for your account and payment info. That sounds reassuring. Layered security is definitely good. But tech aside, what's the actual experience like for users? Are people generally happy after clicking buy? Yeah, that's the other side of the coin. And uh, a lot of users report really positive experiences. Well, what specifically? Things like seamless transaction, got my key instantly, download was ready in seconds. You see a lot of comments praising smooth purchases and crucially, that quick delivery of the digital item. So the system seems to work as advertised for many people. Exactly. That direct feedback, people getting what they paid for quickly, really bolsters the perception of legitimacy. It's the platform delivering on its core promise. No waiting around. Makes sense. Beyond just being legit and secure, though, how do they keep people coming back? Any loyalty perks or anything like that mentioned? They do, actually. It seems pretty strategic. There's a loyalty rewards program, standard stuff. You buy stuff, you get points or discounts later. Okay. They also offer a um, $1 welcome bonus just for signing up. 
little nudge to try it out. The low risk entry. Exactly. And there's a referral program too. If you invite someone, you get 5% of their first purchase. Ah, interesting. So they're actively trying to build a user base and encourage repeats. Right. These aren't just random features. They point towards a platform aiming for long-term engagement, not just quick sales. That usually signals a more legitimate operation. Okay, these programs sound good, trying to build community. But let's circle back to Trustpilot. You mentioned 8,100 plus reviews, 3.9 stars. Mixed but mostly positive, you said. What are the common threads in that positive feedback? What makes people happy with Diffmark? The positive comments are pretty consistent, actually, across thousands of reviews. Mm -hmm. People really hammer home three main things. Which are? One, fast delivery. That comes up again and again. Yeah. People love getting their game or software instantly. Can't argue with that. Two, affordable pricing. That's a massive draw, often significantly cheaper than, say, Steam or the right. PlayStation Store. Okay. And three, just an easy, straightforward checkout process. No hoops to jump through, apparently. Fast, cheap. Easy. That's a good combo. It covers the main things people want from a digital marketplace, right? Mm. Smooth, efficient, good value. Definitely <laughs> compelling. But that 3.9 score means it's not all perfect. There has to be a but. What about the other side? What are the common complaints or problems people run into? You're right. No platform's perfect. And the sources do highlight those less favorable reviews. It's important to look at what they're actually about, though. So on. Often it boils down to things like uh, occasional delays in communication with the seller. Maybe a question takes a while to get answered. Right. Or sometimes verification delays, especially for maybe larger buys or if you're a new user. That can be frustrating, but it's also often part of security. So less about I got scammed and more about this took longer than I expected or customer service was slow. That seems to be the pattern, yes. Yeah. More friction points in the experience rather than outright fraud or non-delivery of keys. Annoying, for sure, if you're waiting, but a different category of problem. That distinction is important. Operational hiccups versus fundamental issues. But how does Diffmark handle these problems when they pop up? Did the sources say anything about their response? Yeah, and this is quite telling. Many dodgy platforms just ignore complaints or delete bad reviews, right? Mm, mm. But sources indicate Diffmark's support team actually engages. They respond to reviews, even negative ones, often publicly on Trustpilot, offering solutions or explanations. So they're actively trying to address the issues. It appears so. That kind of proactive engagement trying to resolve problems rather than hide them is a really strong indicator of a company that cares about its reputation and customer trust. Yeah. It separates the legit players from the scams. They're not just letting complaints fester. Okay, that active response does build confidence. So after going through all of this, the platform features, the security, the incentives, the mountain of user feedback, both good and bad, uh, let's get to the bottom line. The final verdict from our sources, is Diffmark a scam? Based on everything we've analyzed, the answer from our sources is a clear no. It is not a scam. Okay, straightforward. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean you throw caution to the wind, right? It's always smart to be careful buying digital stuff online wherever you do it. Standard online shopping sense. Exactly. But Diffmark appears to have earned its place. The evidence strongly suggests it's a legitimate, functioning, and generally trusted digital marketplace. It's not some fly-by-night thing. It's established. And just to recap why the sources lean that way, Yeah. what are the key pillars supporting that not-a-scam conclusion? It really boils down to a few core things. Yeah. First, those robust, multi-layered security systems we talked about. That's foundational. Right. Second, the sheer size and continued growth of its community buyers and sellers sticking around. That signals ongoing trust. Mm -hmm. Then add the wide product selection, and importantly, that demonstrated effort to actually address customer issues when they arise. Okay. Put it all together, and it makes Diffmark look like a solid option, especially for gamers looking to save some money and get content fast. It fills a real niche. So for you listening, if you find yourself searching for game keys or maybe that software license or even just some virtual currency, diffmark.com seems worth considering. The sources paint it as a legitimate player for safe and often cheaper digital transactions. So just to quickly wrap up our deep dive today, diffmark.com comes across in our sources as a legitimate, viable place to buy digital content. Yep, that's the main takeaway. It's backed up by its large user base, its security measures, and mostly positive feedback. Even acknowledging those occasional bumps in the road you find with any big online platform. Right. 
Knowing these details hopefully helps you make a more informed choice when you're navigating that huge digital marketplace out there. You know what to look for, what the potential issues might be. Exactly. It empowers you to decide where to spend your money confidently. And, you know, this whole discussion raises a bigger question, something maybe to think about after this. Oh, what's that? As digital goods just keep getting bigger and bigger and platforms like Dismark become more common, how is this going to change how we think about owning things? You know, owning a digital key versus owning a physical box. That's a really interesting point, that shift from tangible to intangible. Exactly. How does access versus ownership feel different? Mm -hmm. And what role will these marketplaces play in shaping that whole landscape? It definitely gives you something to chew on, doesn't it? The whole evolving yeah. world of digital commerce and how these platforms are right in the middle of it. Something to keep an eye on.